Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we continue with a new example, which is example 2.4. This example was related to the uh, source and sinks. And then the question is uh, consider two source having equal strengths located along the x axis at x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 meter and the sinks located at y exist at x equal to 2 meter. Question is determine the magnitude and the directions of the fluid velocity at x equal to 5 meter and y equal to 0 due to this combination if the flow rate from each of the source is 0 0.5 meter per second per meter and then the flow rate into the sink is 1 meter cube per second per meter. Okay, so solution for this uh, problem try to solve okay. first come first we need to draw uh, the information that given to us so we have the x and y exists okay x and y exists okay put here much lower here because we want to use a uh, y axis so here we have an x exists here and then here we have the y exists here one line so we have the x exists here yes okay the first information the first information give to us we say that the source happen at x equal to 0 and uh, at x equal to 0 and x equal to 2 meter all right so x equal to 0 which is where here the first source occurs here and then the second source is at x equal to 2 meter which is this is the second source so we know the source is like this the flow goes out from the the center all right so it goes out from the center this is a source i name it as a source one and then we have another source here which is two meter from the first source so here until here this we have two meter so again we have another source here so source so this is a source so i draw like this okay to show you that this is a source and then i name it as a source 2 and then we have another one is the sinks they said that sink located at y exists so mean this is y exists and y equal to 2 meter means that the 0 x and it occurs here which is the sinks normally the flow goes to the center okay like this okay the flow goes to the center so this is i put as a c so the distance from these things to the origins to here this is two meter also and then they said that the the question asking to determine the magnitude and the directions of the fluid at x equal to 5 equal to 0. So, we have one velocity here, okay, here, which is 5 meter from the y axis. So, we have a 5 meter here and then this is the a. The velocity here is uh, occurs because of we have source and sinks. Uh, we do not know whether this is source or sinks depends on uh, of for sure this this is not the source and sinks and then the flow occurs here whether this go in this directions this directions or this direction or what direction also we do not know because this depends on this three will uh, velocity this is the three velocity potential and velocity that we have all right so now how to solve this First, we must know what is the 
velocities uh, from uh, A due to the effect of source number one. So I put this as a V R because the velocity with respect to the radius V R one. So A because it's refer from the A, and then we know that from the uh, source and change. The velocity is equal okay. normally we use not a we but uh, not v but we use this as a u r okay i don't want to make you confused so normally we use the u u r so i use the u r here velocity in the radius so because of source one i put as a one here So we refer to the point A. So this is equal to M, which is the strength of the source, divided by 2 pi R1, which is R1 referred from A to the point 1. So means here. And then if we solve this, the strength already given as a 0 0.5, then divide by 2 pi. And then the distance from point A to the first source actually is 5 meter. So we just put 5 here. So then if we solve this problem and then we got it value of 0 0.0159 meter per second. All right. So this is a velocity if we look at point A because of the effect to the source. So we know that this is a positive this way, right? Because this source comes to this way. So this velocity also flow this way, this direction, positive act direction. And then we have second one is the UR. I put this as a UR2, which is referred to the source number two. So this velocity from A to the source number 2. Also, we have the strength M divided by 2R2. If we substitute the value that given, so we have strength, this, because of they said both uh, question says that uh, both uh, strength have the same value, which is 0 0.5. So we use the same value 0 0.5, 2 pi multiplied by now, what is the distance from A to point source 2? We do not know. But we know that from A to origin is 5. but And then from source 2 to origin is 2. So this is a 5 minus 2. Okay. And then if we solve this, solve this, then we got 0 0.026. Five meter per second also goes this way. All right, now this is from the source. The velocity from the source. So now we look at the velocity from the sink. We only have one velocity from the sink because we only have one sink. So but we want to calculate now this is velocity from C. So we expect that something velocity like this come from here, uh, sorry, like this, come from A and then goes to the C. Okay. Come from A and then goes to C like this. All right. Now, if that was the case, so U R, I put the U R only because of the, we only have one thing so refer to the point a this is equal to minus m why is minus because we expect that this velocity goes against the positive act direction so they goes this way so means that the negative so this is a negative 2 pi r r for goes to the same. Alright, what is R? 
these two are very clear to us because already given but these are not given but we know that from this uh, exist all right this is r that we want to find but we know the distance from here to here is a uh, two meter and then distance from here to here is five meter therefore we can calculate the r so what is r r equal to square root of two squared plus five squared so this is equal to square root of 20 29 all right then we can substitute this into back into this equation so what we have here now is uh, the strength for the same is 1.0 all right and then pi by 2 pi and then we can substitute here is a square root of 29 all right then uh, if we solve this what we got is a 0 0.0.0 0 0.0296 meter per second so it goes this way that's what we expect it goes this way so we have a flow like this so they have a sum theta flow like this this is the flow due to the effect of sinks so what is a theta so the theta actually equal to arc tangent uh, 2 over 5 which is this is equal to 21.8 degree okay this is the theta 21.8 degree all right so that's uh, our objective now is to to find the uh, velocity at point A. So the velocity at point A divide into two, which is uh, we need to determine the U, which is the velocity in X direction. And then we have V, which is the velocity in Y direction. All right. So from here, we solve one by one. First, we solve the velocity in the X direction. So at A, at A, the horizontal velocity component, huh? okay, the horizontal velocity component is uh, U equal to U R1 plus u r2 plus the u r u r i mean there's a velocity here for the things all right so if you substitute here but the u r you know the u r is in this direction they have a sum theta so we must multiply by the cos theta because we want to make sure this velocity also in the x direction so we know that this is a theta, the original velocity, like this. This is a ur, so they have a, some angle. So we need to convert to this uh, x direction. So we want to determine the velocity here in the x component or horizontal velocity component. So from here we substitute the ur one. So you, we have uh, zero point zero one. 59 we plus the 0 0.0265 and then we minus the 0 0.0296 cos 28 20 sorry 21.8 degree all right so this if you solve this you can get the 0 point zero one four nine meter per second for velocity horizontal velocity component so in this case when we look at this we know that this is not only the uh, at horizontal component we also have the vertical component and then at 
point A also, the, the vertical component Sorry, the vertical velocity component. Vertical velocity. Component. Is. V. We only have one. Velocity that have two component. Which is a horizontal component and vertical component. Only one which is we have the ur ur only this comp so now in this case you have we have the ur sine theta okay is a vertical component so what we have here again this is the is it minus or not this is not a minus because of uh, we know that this uh, absurd but if you take the next this uh, angle you must put a minus so so we have the ur which is a 0 0.0296 sine theta which is a 21.8 so if you solve this you can get the value of a horizontal a vertical velocity component is a 0 0.011 meter per second this is upward and then this is okay all right now we already have the two velocity therefore uh, the therefore the velocity at point a is given by V equal to VAS equal to the square root of U squared plus V squared so this is equal to square root of This velocity is 0 0.0149 0 squared plus 0 0.011 squared. Right. Uh, so you can solve this one and you can you will get this value of 0 0.0185 0 0 meter per second okay but what is the direction we expect that um, because of uh, the velocities uh, uh, the u velocity is in the x direction and the y upward so we expect that something goes like this so this is our theta this is the velocity which is the 0 0.0185 meter per second so what is a theta what is a theta where theta equal to tangent arc tangent 0 0.011 divided by 0 0.0149 so if we solve this and then we can get the theta equal to 36.4 degree all right so i hope that you can understand and then you know how to solve this problem and then you can understand the source and sense problem all right with that uh, thank you very much